Meanwhile, uh, let's talk about Paul Pogba. Obviously, a lot of speculation about his future, Jules. Um, it's also been stirred by Patrice Evra saying, I think Pogba will leave because you need to feel the love when you play somewhere. You need to be committed. If Paul decides to stay another year and then leave or stay another few years, maybe the fans will love him because he is committed. It's not like I'm protecting Paul, but when there are incidents like yesterday with a the fan, they are killing Paul. This is at the end of the Cardiff game, of course, getting uh, some abuse from Manchester United fans. Uh, Jules, i got a feeling we're going to be talking about this a lot, aren't we, over the summer? <laughs> yeah, I think this saga, the Pogba saga, will be surely longer than the Griezmann one or the Hazard one or yeah. any other sagas that we can imagine. Um, surely the abuse that, that Pogba received on Sunday d didn't land well with him. Uh, Patrick Sevra is a very good friend, very close friend of Pogba, obviously. So he's in the know recently. One of, one of his brothers, one of his twin brothers, uh, Pogba's brothers, also said that things will happen in the summer for, for Paul. So I think the writing is on the cards that he wants to leave and that Real Madrid, as he mentioned before, is his favourite uh, destination. Will it happen? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things that, that need to happen for that, but I still think that he will leave United in the summer. Listen, Patricia Evra needs to dry his eyes, right? And anybody else. I don't, I, I don't, I don't condone anybody getting abuse on the field. But when, when we've all had bad games and bad seasons, we've all had it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That's what fans do. They vent their anger yep. at you, whether you be the star player or the senior player. That's what they do. They don't go for the younger guys. They go for the senior guys or the captains or the talismans. It doesn't make it right, but dry your eyes and put your, do your talking on the field. Yeah. Patrice Ever never mentioned Paul Pogba's form. By the way, one or two idiots had him in a player of the, the year. The P, how he made the PFA team, team of the year, year. Is, is, is beggar's belief. But you've got to take that. You got to, you, you've just got to suck that up and you've got to take it and you've got to go back on the field and you've got to play better. I'm not... It's never right for that to come from the stands, but it does. Yeah. And it's not going to waste. And so, then this is Real Madrid. Said, You're talking about Real Madrid, who've whistled Ronaldo, yeah. Bale, Marcelo, yes. Raul, all yeah. of them over Craig's the years. Craig's absolutely right. But if you said to me, would it be best for Paul Pogba to go now? I think it would be. Yes. Yeah. It, it, you'd sell it, him now. I'd sell him now for Manchester United's benefit and also for Paul Pogba's benefit. It hasn't worked for him. At Juventus, I thought he was a magnificent player. When he's playing for the French national team, he looks a magnificent player. We saw that at the World Cup. There's something not quite right about him when he's playing for Manchester United. He takes too many touches. He doesn't do the things that I've seen him do for, for Juventus or, or the French team. Something's not quite right with him. Yes, he's got lots of assists. He's scored goals. But he doesn't look the player that I thought he would be when he he's came. And there's something not quite see, right. That's why he's got to move I on. I don't see how this would benefit Manchester United. I understand it would benefit Pogba because he wouldn't be in a situation where he's actually standing and arguing with a supporter. I'm Which not talking about the arguing with supporters. I'm talking about no. just in his general play hasn't been as good at Manchester United as it's been elsewhere. You know, I, I don't see how getting rid of him makes Manchester United anything other than worse. They, they, they've got to sign players and get players in and get good players in. And so if they do that, then you'll see the best of Paul Pogba. Getting rid of Paul Pogba just means that's a, another one on top of what you already need to get in. So you'd build the team around Paul Pogba? I'm not saying I'm building it around them. I just don't think you can get rid of... Listen, he's not, he's not a Brian Robson. He's not a Brian Robson. I'm not saying that. But I think when you've got so few decent players and you've got a guy who can be a star, why are you just letting him walk out the door? Do you know a problem for Pogba as well? Is that it, it don't, no matter who they sign in the summer, it ain't going to get any better because they're still going to be trailing Liverpool and Man City next year. So the abuse ain't going to go away. Mm. It's going to continue. So uh